Pastor Todd with a devotional for June 19th. In life's most threatening times, you'll be at peace if God alone is your salvation and refuge. The main theme of the psalm is the right and wrong objects of faith. If we trust in God, we're secure. If we trust in men or things, we're depending on that which is lighter than breath. Psalm 62 verse 9. Interestingly, even though David was in a life-threatening situation, the psalm contains no prayer. H.C. Leupold writes, There's scarcely another psalm that reveals such an absolute and undisturbed peace in which confidence in God is so completely unshaken, and in which assurance is so strong that not even one single petition is voiced throughout the psalm. Of course, David experienced this peace through prayer, and he exhorts God's people to pour out their hearts before him. Verse 8. All of us want to have this same peace that David had in this crisis. At the heart of his peace is his confident trust in God alone. The word only, which translates a little Hebrew particle, is also a recurring theme in this psalm. It occurs six times, four in reference to God. Each time begins with a sentence for emphasis. The word itself conveys emphasis and may be translated in different ways depending on the context. Sometimes it's translated but, and others nevertheless. Sometimes, surely or certainly, but the most authoritative Hebrew lexicon and most modern translations translate it in Psalm 62 as only or alone. Thus, by repetition, David hammers home the concept that we will enjoy God's peace in the midst of life's most threatening moments when God only, God alone, is our salvation and refuge. (laughs) 